Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel Easy Peasy Vocab. Today we are going to talk about the 10th part of speech. This is the last part of speech called interjections. So what is an interjection? Basically it adds emotion. Do you know what an emotion is? Emotion is a feeling. It is a person's inner feeling, meaning how you feel at that moment. Like being happy or being sad or in pain, surprised, or getting relief or being in anger or getting frightened. So let's see what an interjection is. Single word or phrase that expresses a thought or feeling. Basically, it shows emotion. An interjection can stand alone as a sentence with end punctuation. You often shout or say interjections loudly and so they are often followed by an exclamation point. So, in the first visual, what do you see? You see a girl saying, wow. So, wow is an interjection and it is followed by an exclamation. In the second visual, what do you see? You, sir, you see a girl saying no, right? No way. So it is followed by an exclamation point. In the third visual, what do you see? You see a girl shouting, oh my God, right? So you get an exclamation point after that because you are expressing your feeling loudly. Interjections add emotion, but they do not change the meaning of a sentence. They just enhance your feeling. Okay? They are usually used only in conversations and informal writing. We use it only in informal writing. Why don't we use it in a formal writing? Because formal writing is written for someone you don't know personally. So language should be more proper there. But in an informal writing, like writing to a friend or your, your family who you know personally, you can use interjections. Note, when you are expressing a strong emotion or surprise, use an exclamation point. In the first visual, what do you see? You see a batsman got bowled, right? Oh no, we lost the match again. That means you are feeling sad that we lost the match again, right? In the second image, what do you see? You see a Mickey Mouse saying, shh, don't make any noise. In the third visual, what do you see? You see a mosquito biting a boy, right? Ouch, the mosquito bit me again. If you are using milder emotion as in like or well, use a comma after the interjection. In the first picture, what do you see? You see a boy doesn't like broccoli. So, he's saying, no, I don't like broccoli. Because it is a milder emotion, we used a comma after no. In the second image, what do you see? You see a hot pan, right? So somebody is warning, saying that careful, that pan is very hot. In the third image, what do you see? You see a clock showing time as 2 o'clock, right? Well, we have a meeting at 2 o'clock. So that is a milder emotion. So we used a comma after well. Different emotive interjections. So, what are different emotions? We already talked about like joy or delight, surprise, sorrow or pain, relief and disgust. Disgust is you don't like it. Okay. So, joy or delight, you can say, wow, congratulations, hooray, yay, fantastic, yippee, woohoo. So, they all come with an exclamation point. Surprise, oh. Ah, wow, really? Huh. Sorrow or pain? 
ouch, ah, oh no, oops, alas, relief, phew, view, ah, yay, thank goodness, disgust, yuck, ooh, ew, ick. So these are the different emotive interjections. Wow, you all did an awesome job learning about interjections. And here we are done with the basic parts of speech. And this is our last video for the basic parts of speech. Thank you for watching. Please do like, share, subscribe and comment for more videos. I'll be coming up with more videos of the advanced version of the parts of speech. So please stay tuned. Thank you.